Chief Meteorologist Dan Zianka tracking conditions around the fire for us. Hey, Dan. Yeah, it actually got drier this hour, Aaron. We're down to 19% humidity. Temperature is down to 87, down to 2 degrees since last hour. And wind's still gusting up to 17 miles per hour. So not the best conditions for firefighters. This is more conditions that are favorable for fires spreading and not fighting those fires, unfortunately there, but it sounds like they've got some pretty good containment around it, so they're probably only just really mopping up a few hot spots around the area. We'll keep an eye on things, though, for you as long as it is still uh, not fully contained. Right now, wind speeds out there, 17 in Hollister, 15 in Salinas, and 13 miles per hour in Soledad. Northwesterly onshore flow uh, will continue with some dry northerly winds over the hills late tonight. That will actually increase our fire danger in the higher elevations. I don't expect there to be any major wind, but if you look up on Summit Road. You'll have a dry, warm, northerly wind coming uh, through your uh, yard late, late this evening into early tomorrow morning. So it will elevate fire danger a little bit. Temperature rise right now. We're in the 60s to 70s around the bay, 70s to some cases 90s, and even had some triple digits earlier today in our inland location. So it's hot and dry inland and cool or mild on the coast. We did have a few low clouds out there. They have really faded tonight. There are just a few out there still really around the Monterey Peninsula and over Carmel Bay. You can kind of see some thin filaments of them here on the webcam there uh, in Carmel Highlands. So just a little bit of low cloud cover out there. We'll see an increase in low clouds eventually tonight. We'll keep it mostly sunny and breezy uh, for the next hour or two before sunset, 8.27 p.m. tonight, and then down into the 50s for your temperatures for 10 and 12. Now, late tonight, eventually those low clouds will start to redevelop. It may take a few hours for that to happen after sunset. It should be pretty similar to what we had last night as far as cloud cover is concerned, although the marine layer is a little bit more compressed than this time last night. It is still fairly stable. So with that said, I do expect some low cloud cover as we wake up tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. But if you get above about 1,000 feet, maybe 15, well, 1,500 feet close to the coast, 1,000 feet in elevation inland, and you look to the northeast right around 4 o'clock tomorrow morning, 430, right above the horizon. If you can get away from city lights and some haze, you may see the comet Neowise. It is visible to the naked eye right now and uh, may not be later on in the week or later after that. So check it out over the next couple mornings while you still can. Tomorrow afternoon, mostly sunny skies, a few high clouds passing through, a few low clouds near the coast like we had today. And temperatures will bump up a little bit inland, but stay pretty similar on the coast. 76 year high in Santa Cruz. 80s to low 90s in the Santa Cruz Mountains tomorrow. We're going to stay in the low to mid 70s from Watsonville to Salinas, but close to 90 in Hollister, even warmer in the Santa Clara Valley. But uh, back toward the Bay Shore, we're going to stay in the 60s in places like Castroville and Marina. Monterey Peninsula highs in the 60s tomorrow. We'll top out at 67 in Monterey and the same in Seaside in Carmel. And in the south, a huge range in temperatures if you drive south on 101 from Gonzales to Bradley. 25-degree uh, jump there, pretty extraordinary. 88-year uh, high in King City tomorrow afternoon. So for the next seven days into the weekend, temperatures not changing too much on the coast. We'll have periodic low clouds, a few high clouds passing through. I do expect cooler weather out of the weekend as the marine layer stabilizes, gets a little bit stronger, onshore flow picks up, and we'll probably have more cloud cover sticking around later in the day. So we've got cooler temperatures Monday, Tuesday, then warmer weather by Wednesday, but I think the start of next week is going to be cool and you'll see the windy conditions on the inland side of things and a cool down there as well, but you got to get through that toasty weekend first with highs on average in the 90s. We're back after this.